Can you carbon date a person? Well, in episode 3 of X-Men 97, Beast claims to do just that to figure out which Jean Grey is the real Jean Grey. To know if that's possible, we first have to understand what carbon dating is. As the name suggests, carbon dating is a method to figure out how old something is. It's used on organic matter, usually between 500 and 60,000 years old. Over the course of an organism's life, it'll absorb an isotope of carbon called carbon-14. Carbon-14 is radioactive and decays with a half-life of about 5,700 years. That means after 5,700 years, half of the carbon-14 will have decayed into nitrogen-14. When an organism dies, it stops absorbing the carbon-14 and the carbon begins to decay at a predictable rate. By comparing how much carbon-14 there is in the tissue to the expected amount in the living tissue, the age of the sample can be determined using this equation. So can you use carbon dating to figure out how old someone is? Well, one of the issues you may have spotted in my explanation was the 500 to 60,000 year old part, an age which humans tend to be a bit younger than. Except Keanu Reeves, that man is clearly immortal. While most carbon dating is on older samples, newer methodologies do exist to test samples from the last few hundred years. The issue with dating these newer samples is that the concentration of radiocarbon in the atmosphere has changed a lot more due to human activity, especially since the 1950s. As the amount of carbon-14 in the atmosphere has varied, it makes it harder to know what the original expected amount of radiocarbon is for the calculation. What have we been doing to the atmosphere? Well... Between 1955 and 1963 alone, atmospheric radiocarbon doubled, though it has dropped somewhat since then due to less big booms. Thankfully for Beast though, he's really bloody smart, so I'm sure he can come up with the most up-to-date methodologies to account for all of that. So he's all good to carbon date the genes. Wow! I may have slightly danced around one important aspect of carbon dating. It's actually used to determine how long ago something died. As I said, the body only stops absorbing new carbon-14 once it dies, so the calculation can only work on non-living tissue. And let me just check... Take care, Gene. Yeah, pretty sure both genes aren't dead, at least not in this episode. So Hank, I'm afraid when it comes to carbon dating a living person, you're talking a load of old squit. Gene Grey. I used gamma rays to isolate the hemoglobin properties of both genes' genetic markers effectively carbon dating each woman on a cellular level. 